of giving, but also the season of thanking, of being grateful, of having the attitude of gratitude. Magandang hapon po. You are still watching Kababayan today, where we have a very thankful family joining us this afternoon because they have been given, the mom particularly, the gift of freedom and the gift of family. Grace Grande, you're very familiar with her, very strong woman, fighting a lot of battles while racing single-handedly her two teenage sons. Teenager na ba si Gerard? Yes. Andre and Gerard as well. Welcome to Kababayan today. First of all, w shall I say congratulations. Uh, you have come here before, talk to us about a lot of cases. There's an asylum case, there's, a, there's theft charges from the Philippines, there's the extradition case, and congratulations because the good news is... Um, it's been dismissed. The extradition case yeah, has been, it's been dismissed. dismissed. I see happiness in your <laughs> eyes. Um, wh where were you when you first heard about it? What was your reaction like? Actually, the day, uh, it was a Monday, 25th, I think, and uh, I was sick. I had a flu. Okay. And I was really like, I was crying and, you know, was praying, Lord, I, I'm so tired like this. And then suddenly I got a call from the lawyers and they were, they told me to call them back because I didn't, I was able to pick it up. So I called them back and they told me, um, Grace, we have good news. Mm -hmm. My heart was, and I said, what is it? Um, they said, oh, um, you, the case is being dropped. And I was screaming and shouting and just praising God. And this is because the, the last time you were here, we, there were theft charges filed against you by your former uh, living partner, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, an influential politician from the Philippines. Uh, the case was you were the mistress and you wanted out of that relationship, wanted to start a new life for yourself here. And uh, some of them may have missed those episodes, but we've been doing a lot of talks and chatting with you. And we would also like to thank Attorney Guy Iverson. Yes, right? from the Federal Public Defender's Office and the Affirm, Affirm Women who really work so hard to help me and uh, my family, my church family. They've been so supportive in everything, and I just, I'm so grateful to have them on my side. And the boys also who have been with you. Yes, my kids. How did you find out? Well, my mom was screaming. Like, I, I, I had an idea at first, but then I was also sick, so my head was hurting. I was already complaining. Oh, my God, everyone was sick. Okay. <laughs> but, like, then. when I heard it, I started getting teary, and I was just happy. It was like, I felt like like all the load off our backs was just gone, basically, and it felt good. It felt good that my mom was finally free. <laughs> yeah, and so you're going to have a great Christmas this year. Yes. How long has it been since you've had this? Because you, you were here, you've been to the, in the States for seven years now, and in those seven years, my harassment, my, you know, uncertainty, and now, how different is this Christmas going to be compared well, to the other Christmases? Well, the, I don't have the fear of my mom leaving anymore, mm -hmm. and now I know she's free, so not to be scared for anything anymore. Wow. Best gift, no, yes, Greg? Yes, it is the best And so gift. how are you looking forward to spending the holidays this year? Well, we'll be spending it with my family, my sisters, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to have, I know, it's it's Can totally different. Mm -hmm. Our Thanksgiving was really, really great. About Thanksgiving. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and now the Christmas is more, um, it's going to be more fun than <laughs> any other naman. Christmas. Andre, you said that you have lots of things planned for the family yeah it's because like we went to vegas for a vacation and um since i like like video editing and stuff i, I i'm gonna combine it so that during christmas we, like we can all watch it together and stuff like that and then like like in powerpoint you can make jeopardy mm -hmm. and so we'll have like a jeopardy game for christmas stuff like that just for fun and just when we out. say we've been talking about family when we say family who is family well, who consists your family well uh, every uh, talk, say everyone. Yeah. Now? Okay. Yeah. So my <laughs> uncle, my aunt, oh my two uncles, my two aunts, three aunts, and uh, my f well, five cousins. Five cousins. And then uh, my niece, mm -hmm. and then my nephew, and then my mom, my brother. Big family. Yeah. Grace, um, what are you thankful for? Well, I I just wanna. Most of all, thank God for everything because I know I've been so blessed with all these people around me helping me all these years and you <laughs> uh, there for us. Uh, you know, um, I'm just so happy and thankful for everyone that has helped us. What has kept you or who has kept you going through this? Uh, no support from the father of these kids, no financial, no nothing, um, harassment, uh, battling different cases. Um, you're in a different country, not your own. What has kept you going? It's my faith in the Lord. 
the Lord has always been there for me. He's provided everything that we needed and even more. And actually, um, we have uh, 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 additional lawyers who would be helping also with um, my other case. Cases. The other two cases are still theft charges in the, filed in the Philippines uh -huh. and uh, your asylum. And You're seeking asylum. asylum. Yes. To stay here permanently and be with your, yes. be with your kids. Well, good luck with that. But for now, congratulations. Thank you, Chanel. And I know I mean this and I know that you feel it when I say Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Happy, New, Happy New, Year New Year this year. year. Yes. More in Kababayan today when we return. Don't go away.